we have a chore commander who <laughs> the way that the school is kept clean is that everyone does a chore each day. So we don't hire janitorial services. And at 2.15 at chore time, everyone joins their teams and each team will be assigned an area. And we have a chore commander and actually yesterday and today it's Pepper serving as chore commander who will look and see who is absent and who is at school and adjust the teams as necessary. Mm. And we, we liked the the semi-alliteration of having the two C's. I think that was the reason Commander was chosen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and another one that I'm thinking of, actually a third C would be certification. Mm. So that's something when I'm doing admissions visits and showing families around the school, I always try to explain certification. And um, essentially, there are groups called corporations that can, they're typically tasked with maintaining some group of materials and making them broadly accessible to students. Mm. So for instance, right now we're in the music studio. There's a music corporation that administers the area. And uh, one of the primary ways that they do that is through certification, where before you can even come into the music studio, someone from the music corporation will certify you and they'll explain the rules of the, of the space, how to use the area and potentially the materials safely both for the person and for the materials mm -hmm. um, and so it's a it's a bit like getting your driver's license in a way you can right, right. There various things throughout the school you can be certified for and that's also usually a way to kind of manage for, from an outside perspective you're managing risk within the space and you know around yeah. around potentially dangerous items or activities is that the way I always heard it said was anything expensive, dangerous, or super, super messy uh. is what we want to generally have certifications around. Uh -huh. So we have certifications for music equipment because it's expensive. We have certifications yep. for art supplies because they're messy. And then we have certifications for like science equipment because some of it, you know, actually I don't know if our science equipment gets <laughs> interesting, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if we have uh, dangerous Maybe science our equipment. Kitchen, the, the kitchen is what I was thinking. The kitchen, yeah. That's typically the one. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Burr.